Hello there, welcome to this Scratch tutorial. I'm Echo Scratch Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this falling game. In this game, you use the arrow keys to control the ball and fall as far as possible. It's a fun project to make, so I hope you enjoy. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new project, call it falling game and delete the cat, we don't need it for this project. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the level. So we'll go and paint a new sprite. And this is basically going to be two lines. So we'll choose a thickness of 30. I'm going to make my game like green themed. You can make it any color you like. Make a line about the length of the screen. This white area is the size of the screen, if you didn't know, of the stage. And then duplicate it and make the gap that you want the player to be to need to fall through. Then select it and center it by lining up the plus over here with the plus in the middle of the screen. It should snap into place. Call this right level and bring it to x0, y0 zero, so that it's center. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start the code. So one flag clicked forever. Go to x negative one x pick random negative 170 to 170 why well, what negative 180 so it'll go to the bottom of the screen at a random x-axis see and then we're going to create clone of myself and wait 0 0.5 seconds you can change this if you like now we're going to create the code for the clones, which are going to be the platforms. Also hide it. When I start as a clone, show, and repeat until y position equals 180, change y by five, and delete this clone. Great. So now if you look at the stage, you'll see that we have all of the levels going. You can adjust the game according to, you know, the speed, and you can change the size of the gap too. Great. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the ball that the player controls. So create a new sprite. Select paint and call it ball. Make sure that it doesn't have an outline because that was there from last time. It wouldn't be really big. I'm going to make mine lime green. You can make it any color you like. Try to make it around 32 by 32. Also, um, keep in mind that if you can hold shift while you're drawing an oval and it'll make a perfect circle. So now that we have our costume, let's get coding. We're going to do one thought clicked forever if key right arrow pressed, then change x by five. And we're going to duplicate that and do the same thing for key left arrow. And now we can move. Okay, but make that negative five. Now we can move. And you can see that, well, we're not really falling yet. We're just moving back and forth across the screen. We can fix that. Uh, go to make a block. Make sure that the run without screen refresh box is checked. That makes it so all the 
blocks run at once and call it physics. So we're going to do if not touching level then change y by negative 10. Repeat until touch, touching level and then we'll no, if touching level, then repeat until not touching level, change y by 1. And then we'll change y by negative 1. Basically what this will do is it will see that it's not touching the level, so it should change the y by negative 10, so it falls. And if it is touching the level, we don't want it to be inside the platform, so we'll make it repeat until it's not touching the level, change y by 1, and then so that it's exactly aligned with the level, we'll change the y by negative 1. So now if we run the project, you can see that, well, first we need to actually put it into the script, that might help. But if you run the project, you can see that we're about finished. We'll just add a few finishing touches. That's great. Okay, so we have most of our game done. Now it's just time to add some finishing touches. So the first thing that I like to do is add a background. It just, you know, makes it look better overall. And now, you can see that it really goes with my green theme. And you can also add a score. And we're going to do that by deleting the my variable variable. We don't need it. And creating a new variable called score. So in the level sprite, we'll do set when flag clicked, set score to zero. And then when I start as a clone, it'll show and it will move up until it hits the top of the screen and it'll change the score by one. There's just one more thing we need to do. You can see that now our score is working, but, and, but there's a bit of an issue. When we're at the top of the screen, it gets very laggy and it doesn't actually stop. We should fix that. So, well, if y position equals 180, then stop all. You can also do some other thing, but, but this is just to say that the game is over. So that's the game. This is a really fun game to play and you can see what else you can add. Maybe some collectibles or change some of the sprites. I hope you've enjoyed making this game with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!